and wellity, wellity, welcome folks, welcome to another Let's Play being done by yours truly, Random Master Scott A. And today we have a Sunsoft game. Oh, Sunsoft used to make good games. Because today we are not ta talking about a particularly good game, we are talking about a bad game. We are talking about a little game for the PS1. Not a lot of people know about it. It wasn't very widely released. In fact, it was only released in Japan and Europe in the golden year of gaming, 1997. This being a very sad dud of a game. But this is The Note. Uh, it was also released in Japan, but I don't know what the Japanese title is, so I'm just going to be calling it The Note. And here's the opening to Evil Dead 2 with the Necronoricon. The Note. A very bloody pen. Three members of the occult club of a senior high school turned up missing. These guys just look like holiday. they're confused. Like, why are we floating a girl here? Called Linda sent her mother some photographs before she disappeared. Ooh, Asushi Hirakawa, the main programmer. But the photos were no ordinary. That book isn't running out of pages. In fact, the fingers repeating the same pages over and over. But Tahikiyo Kishi and the 3D Polygon Modeler, he's not having any of that. He likes his polygons. They showed an old dilapidated mansion. Uh, no, it's showing a load of cosplay figures. But Rico Doi, now he was definitely a 2D graphic artist. When Linda's mother saw the photograph, she engaged the Oh, PS1, why is it you try to make humans? Just terrible at making humans. I mean, look at these people, they're mannequins. I mean, I love your PS1, but really. Ken Kojima is the music in, in DTC, wherever that Taking is. the photographs with him, Akira went to the place the children were last seen. A country town in southern Europe. Southern Europe? Oh no! I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce that name. <laughs> I'll probably butcher it and be called a racist. How many times did you show me this book? It's like it's the one thing you animated and you were really proud of that book. Ooh, it's a freaky woman with a clock. The note. Oh boy. This is not going to be fun. But why am I deciding to do this game if it's bad? I guess to show you that, you know, not every horror game on the PS1 was a good game. Yeah, those are going to be our two main characters. Yeah. I mean, look at them. What else came out in 97? Has anything, any humans come out in 97? Well, Resident Evil 2 was about... It was being made in this year. I'm not sure if it came out before or after, but it definitely had better looking humans than this. But we're going to go over a new game. We're going to be English. With stereo sound. And we have to do the brightness. Kind of a cool way it does the brightness, like shows you the symbol. Yeah, that's visible. That's not visible. Mm, no. That one is. That one definitely isn't. I'll say no to that one. And I'll say yes to that one. Say so it's readjust. It's probably just because I'm reading it wrong. Anyway, so we're going to press X to everything is okay. And we're going to begin the game. We're going to find out why this game got a 2 out of 10 on official PlayStation magazine. It's so quiet. I can see why. Wow. Yeah. What a mansion. No sign of anyone around. It doesn't look like anyone has lived here for a long time. What gave you that idea? The building looks pretty old, too. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Smack your face a little right there. Do you there. think the kids were really here? But why else would we be here? Where did we get the photos? If Linda sent photos of the place, they must have been. So was that just like a... Like, did they take a picture of the house but or a map of it? whether they're still around or not is a different matter. So how do they know they came to I this house? I can't get those photos of the spirits out of my head. Oh great, the subtitles don't match up with the words. It could be one Me of those either. kinds of games. No, oh, Jesus, he's a zombie. Well, let's take a look around and see what we can find. Let's have a look indeed. So this game can probably best be described as... Kingsfield done even worse than the than the floors of Kingsfield. Now don't get me wrong, I liked Kingfield, but even this is just no. So you move around in a three-dimensional plane, it's first person, and let's go through this door, see what we can find. 
Now, one thing this game does have is it has a weird little light mechanic. So you can't do things unless you've got light in the room. So, for example, if we open up the curtain and slowly turn around, we can see that there's a rifle over there. How good. And we can also open this curtain and see more light. Now, all of the actions here are done by recording things, by recording the actions and the items to a set button. So say for example, right now, R1 is, the, is our open button, and L1 is our match button. Oh. And, which basically means that, you know, you light a match, because there's, well, matches in this game. So, for example, we can set for check to be L2. So now we can check this rifle on the wall. There's a gun hanging on the wall. Take the gun? Yes, we will. So now we have a gun. Not exactly sure who was leaving a loaded and operatable firearm on the wall, but I'm not going to question. Anyway, these are our items. We have a watch, which, you know, does the time. We have a shotgun. We have an antidote, which is for poisons. Ointment, which is like our green herbs. Matches, which set fire to things. Oil, which can be used for lanterns that we're going to get later. And ammo is, well, ammo. So right now we can attach the shotgun to R2, and that will allow us to fire the shotgun with R2. Tell me if I'm going too fast for you, I can slow down. So we've got our shotgun, and we had a little bit of a blink. Uh, the blinking in this thing, basically, it isn't like alone in the dark, in the sense of, you know, you got to blink so you can see. It's more the sense of it being just like your health bar. Because like, you know how in like first person shooters nowadays, when you get shot, you can bleed on the floor and everything? Well, it's kind of like that, except instead of bleeding on the floor, you just blink and like your peripheral vision goes. Anyway, that's a wolf. We don't like wolves. And I'm about to show you the main problem with this game. The shooting. I'm doing a save state there just so I can show you. Because, what do you expect in a first person shooter? To be able to see the gun? Yes, that would be useful, but you know, you don't need it. Uh, to have any reticule. That would definitely help. Well, is this game? This game has none of them. You have to guess where you're firing. See? I have no idea. I, I managed to hit that wolf by pure blind luck. So, that's one dead wolf with his head going through the wall, or he's just lying on the wall. Dear lord, oh, bit of lag. This game shouldn't be lagging. Anyway, got some more light in here. At first I thought you needed light to kill the enemies, but no, it's just that the aiming's so terrible it makes it seem like you do. So it is a good thing to illuminate any area that you get. So I would say the best way to order things is kill the enemies in the room, light everything up, and then explore the room. Now these doors here, these allow you to go to the outside, which we'll be showing off in a minute, but first we've got to go through this door because story reasons. Whenever you get a cutscene, your eyes open and close like that. Hello, plunging neckline. Oh my, how unusual to see visitors. What brings you here? Kanaka actually has no problem with the fact that we have a shotgun in our hands. And wolf blood I'm all looking over for us. some people. Oh, come on, you're not even looking her in the I eyes. See. You're just staring off into the distance. These children, actually. It's gonna pop have you seen pull us right out of my ribs. <laughs> the? Yes, I've seen them. Yeah, tell us where they are, please. Really? Just threaten with a shotgun a little. I appreciate any information you can give me about them. Well, about five foot four, brown hair, mm -hmm. nice eyes. I don't mind telling you, but could you look for something for me too? No. Look for something? How do I look for something? It's about this size. That narrows it down. A small red stone. Gotta start off with that. You'll know it if you see it. If you find that stone for me, I'll tell you what I know about the children. Or I could threaten you with the shotgun and All you right. tell me now. I'll be waiting for you here at this time tomorrow. Don't forget. So it looks like we got a deadline to keep. What an unpleasant person. I can still hear you. Yes. But it looks like we're getting closer. How? You asked one person! I guess. I guess. Nice accent covering there. So yeah, this game does, like I said, this game has a time mechanic. It's kind of like when you call it Dark Seed in that way. So if we have a look at our watch, the current time is 12 o'clock. 
So that means that we have to be back here for 12 o'clock exactly tomorrow. So let's keep an eye on that time. So there's nothing else in here, so let's just go out. And I'll show you the outside. So you can get an idea as to what that is. So this is all the outside. Now there's two types of inside. You either get the, in the outside of the manor. Oh, that's locked. You either get the outside of the manor, which is like a playing field here, or you get the town. Which I'll probably show you now because we can do a bit of shopping. Yes, you know, there is shopping in this game. Kind of a... It's a damper on the whole survival horror thing if you can just go into town and buy a load of shotgun shells. But we're not going to question it. After all, they're probably doing the smart thing here. But let's head on out. And... The game has three things... Well, four things that you can do. You can go back to the mansion, which is just where we were. Go to the hotel, which allows you to restore your energy and skip time for a set amount of... I think it's like 900 gold, I guess. And the store, which allows you to buy more items. So, like, you know, your ammo, your shotguns. You don't... You don't buy... Don't buy. You don't buy anything plot critical there. You only buy like ammo, fuel, matches, stuff like that. Oh, and you can save. But we have the power of save states, so we don't need to save. So no, the game gives you lots of ammo. Not 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 lots of ammo. It gives you lots of money up front, so the best thing to do is just match yourself out immediately. So buy as much as you can. Buy lots of more oil. All the matches. Honk, honk. Buy lots of ointment. You do find things in the manor that you can sell. So, like, for example, you find, like, gold chains and necklaces and gold watches and stuff like that you can sell. Okay, that's nice everything. And no sellable items, so that's how you get your money back in this game. And let's head back into the mansion. So the time now is... One o'clock, so got to keep an eye on that. For some reason, this, this uh, clock has no hands, so we don't have to use that. There's a broken clock. So let's head on back through this door and check out that other door that's in here. And we find a kitchen and a very is that a rat. That's a big rat. That's like a that's like a mouse. Not oh, a mouse. Um, damn. Down you go, sir. Looks like a like a fat cat with like a really big, like really big ears. So anyway, we got some stoves, got an old timey pump, and some shelves. Nothing in here of value to us. So let's head on through. And nothing in here. Well, no enemies, I mean. So let's open up the curtains. Get some light in here. Now, with the light mechanic. It's also worth mentioning that you can light thing like these torches on. So like you use a match on them and you can light them up and they provide light for the area. You don't need to do that for all of them, and they only last for a little bit, so enough. Okay, look down. Come okay, on, check it. There's a broken sideboard. A medal fell out of the broken sideboard. How'd that happen? Take the medal? Yes we will. So it's like uh what do we call it? Resident Evil in that respect, you always gotta find the medals. And in this hallway we find a torch. Oh great, a bat. I hate the bats, because you can never hit them. Look at this. How, how can I hit this thing if I can't even see it? Oh, gotta reload. Dangerous. Let's get out of here. Okay, quickly reload. Because your gun doesn't reload automatically. You have to actually reload it manually, which is annoying. At least the game pauses when you do it. Tell you what, it's just skip to the end, go through here. And we find... Oh, a wolf! How'd you get in here? Okay, Mr. Wolf, you're a big target so I can hit you. Okay, one, two... Oh, he dodged! Three. You suck, wolf. You and your... your, your claspy jaw. So I feel to pull a buckshot. Okay, let's light up these torches so we can see what we're doing. So, L1 is our match button. And that makes a nice purple flame. Purple flame. Purple flame. R.I.P. Prince. But now we've got the purple flames, we have... What's this? That won't have any effect here. For, God's sake. for some reason, check 
and um, like the two check buttons are two completely different for each other. So we have an altar. Well, oh, it's definitely an altar. An altered altar, maybe, but definitely an altar. And ooh, there's a key on the floor. The key has fallen to the floor. How did how'd you do that, key? Take the key? Yes, we will. So we got ourselves a key now. How useful that key will be, who will see? Okay, let's quickly head out here. So we've unlocked that door with the latch, and that takes us back out here. So let's have a quick check at the time, and I think then we'll call it an episode. So we've got a soul medal and a watch, and it's currently 2 o'clock in the morning, I assume. But I have been Grandmaster Scotte, this has been The Note. It's definitely going to be an experience to play through, and hopefully you'll find it somewhat enjoyable, and you'll see why this game got a 2 out of 10. But we'll see you next time. Ach, everybody!